It's chilly, no question. Another camera's already down. Tough conditions all around to film in. Just making best of what we got. Get out, get out, get out. Get out. <laughs> Be a cameraman, life below zero. Everything that's really easy at home is 20 times harder. We're waiting for a plane to fly through here and drop off some meds. I really hate being on camera. We should do one of these every day. This can be like behind the scenes. <laughs> We're out here, everything we've got it moves on our backs, and there's no room for air. It's time for me to go out and find some meat. To do that it means glassing as much country as I possibly can. For me, that means climbing up Calico Bluff. And it is steep, as you can see. Up here is Andy trailblazing us. This is one of the steepest things I've had to climb on the show so far. Uh, likewise. For every step you take, you basically take two, because it's like walking on a treadmill. Here we are at the top of Calico, about to do our interview. Would you eat some berries? Oh yeah, that looks great. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. Going steady. Great. Here are these guys coming down. Yeah. So, how much of the mountain did I bring back with me? Let's find out. Skate shoes. The, yes. <laughs> Maybe I would choose different footwear next time. Maybe not. Yeah, not so much fun. So that's what we scaled today. Well, we did it. Good work, boys. Shooting in Alaska is hard. Sometimes I can't even believe I'm doing this. Guns here, cameras here, we'll see what we can shoot. Just down here about two to 300 yards away, Glenn recently shot a moose and brought it back to camp. With fresh meat hanging out, the curious bears that live in the neighborhood are passing through more frequently. We had a visitor in camp the other night. I was sleeping in this tent. Now right on the other side of this wall here is the cooking station. Here we've got my bed, it's lumbering in the corner. And here, we've got the paws. So the few precautions that we use are, most notably we've got our bear spray here. And bear spray is a good first line of defense. This is really gonna get in there and cause a lot of confusion and turn bears on their tracks. Uh, the second form of deterrent that we use if we have to is a firearm. I prefer to use my weapon as hopefully just a noisemaker rather than a lethal um, weapon. You know, an opportunistic bear might have thought that that was just a nice, easy way to get its food. I'm fine walking it on my own, walking it with a camera. It makes me less happy. Fish, fish, fish. Here we go. Getting footage of Annie and Kate on the fish wheel is difficult and dangerous, and getting back to shore is challenging as well. I don't like that spot right behind you because that board's cracking. Once you step down, you feel these boards. If you step on that, it'd give you a fright if you were shooting. The sides are a little slimy. That might be my least favorite part. I'd been hazed. I, like walked the gauntlet and survived. If the cameras didn't drop in the water, it was all good. 